Hey guys, Abs here. We've just released an update to the Social Hub Builder. We've released version 2.0011. In this update, we've added a new hub, we've added some extra features, and we've also made it much easier to actually work with the full process from actually getting the signups to linking them to your hubs as well. So I'm gonna be explaining this to you in this video. So the very first thing I'm gonna to explain to you and show you is the hub linker. We've added a new hub called scoop.it and we've also changed the way that the system works or the way you enter your user details for these actual hubs. So previously, the only way to actually add details to these hubs was to click on the edit details down here and you can add your details. That way now you can actually copy and paste your details in here by using the control C and control V um, keys on your keypad, on your keyboard. Um, okay, and to find out if the hub actually requires a username or the email, all you have to do is actually hover over that and with all, and it will actually tell you what it requires. So for example, Hello Text, it requires an email ID. Pixel Pipe Twitter requires a username. We also made it much more easier and tailored towards the success file that is generated by the signup script. And we've done this by allowing you to import your signup script um, into the hub linker. Um, and it will actually auto generate and sorry, it will automatically populate your sign up details for these hubs. So I'll show you this in action now. I'll click on here. I'll go over to my social hub builder folder and I'll go over to my success file. And as you can see, it's automatically imported my details in here. Bookmark lovers will never get imported because it's not signed up by the system. Pixel pipe Twitter, we're just making a tweak on that now uh, to make sure that it pulls in your Twitter username. Posteriors and social adder were not signed up to on the or they're not noted in the success file because they were because they failed to sign up to when I was running my test. Um, as usual, you select your web 2.0 sites here and you'll continue to work with your CSV file as you would normally here. Okay, we've also made another change to the settings in the way that the proxies are worked and the way they are handled, sorry. Um, what you can do now is import your list of proxies, test your proxies, and the proxies that are failed, you can actually remove them by clicking remove all failed proxies. We've also added another feature. This feature is called Tor. Now Tor, if you're not fully aware of what Tor is, then you can actually go over to the website. It's called torproject.org and it's a free open source software program um, that allows you to relay your um, query or your request through three actual IPs. What this does, it gives you some awesome anonymity and it allows you to benefit and work with these websites, these Web 2.0 sites that the Social Hub Builder works with um, and really sign up to them over and over and over again without having to buy so many private proxies. Now, private proxies are still gonna be needed, especially for sites or especially for email providers, um, but I've also passed, you, you know, I've also passed GMX for Tor as well. Um, so, 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 you know, it is, it is a real cool feature that we've added in here. Now, it's free to distribute Tor. It's free to customize Tor. Um, as, long as, as long as we are passing over the Tor user license, um, and the readme file with it, which we have done. And it's very simple to actually get this configured and working. And all you have to do is go over to general settings. You'll need to download two applications, one, and you can get them both from the general settings tab. Just click on these two links here. One's called Tor, one's called Privoxy, and you download them to your computer, extract, unzip the folder anywhere you want. So in your My Programs folder, on your desktop, or anywhere you want to actually keep them folders and all you need to do is come back to come back over to general settings and tell the software exactly where the exe files are located so for example tor exe i'll click on select i'll go over to desktop because that's where i've actually extracted the tor folder that i downloaded and i've and i've actually saved it into a folder called tor so here we go and i'm going to look for the tor application and i'm going to click on that privoxy exactly the same i've actually saved it on my desktop in a folder called priv and we're looking for the blue circle with the white P inside of it. And there we go, click on save settings and that's gonna be saved over. And in proxy settings, just ensure you've got the enabled Tor checked as well. So what I'm gonna do now is go over to sign up, go over to edit account details. I've got one profile in here, which I'm happy to use. I've got website selected as Runbox and I'm gonna actually come over here and I'm gonna, okay, well we won't enable auto capture, 
but what you can see when I do click on start it's going to take about 10 seconds for Tor to initialize um, so I'm going to click on start and in the logs at the bottom it's telling you there that it is actually initializing Tor towards the start um, towards the taskbar you'll actually see the Privoxy icon appear as well and if your social hub builder becomes unresponsive for these few seconds that it takes to actually start Tor um, then not to worry guys um, it will start to respond as soon as Tor has started so as you can see Tor has responded and it's creating a run box sign up for us now okay and submit okay now Tor can be a little slower than your normal connection and the reason behind that guys is because it's making a request or it's passing your request over between three IPs um, and there you go we've actually passed run box I'll just get the email from here okay fantastic I can actually take this email now I can go over to my edit account details enter it inside of here click on save update it over close out on my success CSV file go to my website selection click on all because I've actually got this configured without Flickr Yahoo and Yahoo bookmarks and Yahoo Pulse go over to here and click on the amount of threads now you might get a better success rate when you're using fewer threads guys and the whole reason behind that is because again we're making simultaneous requests but this time going through Tor um, oh yeah and when the process has been complete Tor and Privoxy will automatically close so as you can see we've got no Tor no Privoxy in here as well so this Tor has been custom configured for the social hub builder it did require quite a bit of work as well to make sure that we keep the proxies and everything live or sorry the connection live with Tor uh, but we've done it in such a great way that it's going to be called and used for every thread as well so a lot of customization has gone into it especially when working with threads um, nothing that you guys need to worry about guys but you might get a better success when you're using fewer threads but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be brave again use 15 threads um, death by capture is been running um, a little slow lately um, but let's see what we let's see what we can get so I'm gonna click on start again it's gonna initialize it's initializing Tor again and as you can see Privoxy has started and I'm gonna be making some notes about Tor um, in the in the thread as well guys so um, do read some notes on on Tor as well so as you can see it's working it's going through them again through the ones that aren't going to be successful it's going to come back to these again and as you can see we're actually signing up to all of these now using Tor um, okay so this is one this is another change that we've made let me just go over to release notes and make you aware of some other changes as well okay I think that's about it guys uh, we're all done okay so this is Tor um, this is using Tor guys excellent thing to work with oh yeah and what I should show you as well is the P is going to actually change and it's going to be showing like a um, I don't know some sort of green sign telling you that it's working and that's just telling you that Tor is actually working for us now and all of our requests are anonymous and this is exactly how it would work guys um, and you can load loads and loads of profiles and the way we've actually configured the system to work is after each profile has been complete we're going to close Tor restart Tor again gain another IP and go through that and then go through them signups using that IP and again when it does come to another profile it's going to close Tor restart Tor get another IP and then really start working for us um, so I'm really hoping that this is going to actually save us money on private proxies um, I'm going to certainly be using it um, now still the most buggiest area again guys is going to be emails um, and we are really working on emails as well <clears throat> um, but as you can see guys this is still working um, it is normally a bit quicker for my own IP when I'm not using Tor um, but it's working a tree and it should and I mean what we can do is as soon as we've created these we can go back over add some more account details and start signing up to them again because we don't save cookies we're using Tor which is going to get us a new IP on each each time we actually click that start button again or load in multiple profiles um, okay guys this is the new update and I hope you enjoy it um, now if you get any issues with Tor um, or if you get any issues with your antivirus or your firewall guys then it's very important 
you understand that Tor uses a number of ports and um, you will need to configure Tor properly um, and to configure Tor properly you should be using the Tor project forum. Um, other than that we've done everything we can to configure the social hub builder with Tor and it's working a treat as long as you configure Tor if you have any issues on your computer. For me I use the super anti spyware, I use McAfee um, antivirus protection as well. I've got a firewall and I didn't have any issues with Tor whatsoever. Okay guys so this is the social hub builder using Tor and um, of course you've got the other hub in there as well. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the new updates.